Whether it be for a single day or several years, multiple big name stars have opted to remove themselves from the world of social media and the social scrutiny that comes along with it. Let's go and find out who've deleted their social media accounts. Britney Spears. Britney Spears has taken breaks from social media every now and again, a right she has surely earned after gaining freedom from her oppressive conservatorship in 2021. However, when she suddenly deactivated her Instagram account on January 24, certain fans began to worry. Some of them even made phone calls to the police as they feared for Spears' safety. This resulted in members of the Ventura County Sheriff's Department showing up at her home later that night to perform a welfare check, and the Princess of Pop was none too pleased. Spears wrote a statement on Twitter on January 26 asking fans not to overreact and to respect her privacy. I love and adore my fans but this time things went a little too far and my privacy was invaded, she wrote. She went on to explain that news of the police showing up at her home triggered news headlines which once again portrayed her as unstable, even though the police quickly realized there was no issue and left immediately. She finished by asking that, the public and my fans who I care so much about can respect my privacy moving forward. She has since reactivated her Instagram. Tom Holland, Spider-Man, star Tom Holland announced that he was taking a break from social media for the sake of his mental health in August 2022. The actor has posted very rarely since then, and only to promote his family's charity, The Brothers Trust. Holland has deactivated his social media before, saying he finds it, overstimulating, and, overwhelming. Cardi B. Cardi B temporarily deactivated her Twitter account on April 3, 2022, after clashing with her fans online who were expressing their disappointment over the fact that she did not go the Grammys. Cardi was nominated for Best Rap Performance for, Up, but didn't win. According to Billboard, the rapper tweeted, I'm deleting my Twitter but on God I hate this F word and dumb a word fan base, before deactivating her account. You got the slow dumb ass dragging my kids all cause y'all thought I was going to the Grammys, and I didn't the F word. When the F word I hinted I was going. Just F word and stupid I can't I needs to protect myself. She was apparently referencing some followers who tweeted about her two children because they were upset, she didn't show up to the ceremony. Cardi was already annoyed by fans pressuring her to release a follow-up to her 2018 album, Invasion of Privacy, earlier that same day, and she reportedly tweeted on the morning of April 3rd, when did I hype y'all up? Where and when did I ever give hints? Like are you okay? I'm not going to an award if I don't get a new song to perform or my album ain't out, next year. Pete Davidson, the, Saturday Night Live, Star deleted his Instagram account back in 2018 following his split from Ariana Grande, saying he didn't need the negative energy. However, after a four-year absence, Davidson rejoined the gram. He shared some promos for his upcoming movie, The Home, and also posted a cryptic Instagram story with the quote, It's better to be king for a night than schmuck for a lifetime. Fans speculated that this post, as well as his return to the platform, was related to the rather one-sided feud involving Kardashian's estranged husband, Kanye, Yee, West. Yee had been taking potshots at Davidson on Instagram in the days prior. Davidson gained almost a million followers within a week, but he deleted his account again on February 23, 2022, having shared very little. Selena Gomez Selena Gomez is a star who is vocal about the negative impact social media has had on her mental health. She bravely shared the story of a breakdown she suffered in 2018 after becoming overwhelmed by depression and anxiety. At one point Instagram became my whole world, and it was really dangerous, she explained. Taking a break from social media was the best decision that I've ever made for my mental health. I created a system where I still don't have my passwords. And the unnecessary hate and comparisons went away once I put my phone down. I'll have moments where that weird feeling will come back, but now I have a much better relationship with myself. Britney Spears. Following her engagement to longtime boyfriend Sam Asghari, Britney Spears decided to take a weekend off social media so they could celebrate. The star deactivated her Instagram and headed to Palm Springs with her new fiancé to enjoy a few days of peace offline. She clarified that it was her personal choice to take the temporary break and that nothing else should be read into it. As promised, she reactivated her account after their getaway and posted a few holiday snaps. Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey announced that she was stepping back from social media in September of 2021. She has been known to speak her mind and engage in arguments with journalists and other celebrities in the past but decided to direct her attention elsewhere. The singer stated that she would deactivate her Instagram and Twitter accounts to achieve greater privacy and focus on other areas of her life. For right now, I think I'm going to just keep my circle a little bit closer and continue to develop some other skills and interests.
She has since reactivated her accounts. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie was never notably active on social media, but even she felt the need to announce her departure. In June 2021, the actress informed her millions of Instagram followers that she's taking a break from the platform. Jumping off social media for the time being, she wrote alongside a photo of herself celebrating, Promising Young Woman, the Oscar-winning film produced by her company Lucky Chap Entertainment. Check out at Lucky Chap Entertainment if you're interested in what we're up to, otherwise ciao for now. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen deleted her Twitter account in March 2021 after she described feeling, deeply bruised, by negativity towards her on the social media platform. She shared a long thread with fans thanking them for their support, but explained that she hasn't learned how to block out the negativity. And then she went through with deleting her account, just like that. Chrissy Teigen has quit Twitter before. After receiving death threats online due to a controversial tweet she posted about a shooting in Ottawa, Canada, Teigen decided to log off of Twitter. Before leaving, the model tweeted, I can't see anything through the sea of hate and anger that is now my Twitter, according to CNN. Her break lasted a week before Teagan returned and her fans rejoiced. Alec Baldwin Alec Baldwin announced he was leaving Twitter again after the uproar over his wife Hilaria's heritage failed to blow over. To refresh your memory, it was revealed that Hilaria's Spanish heritage was a lie, accent and all, and that she was actually born as Hillary, in Boston, Massachusetts. Though she spent time in Spain growing up, Twitter users were not going to let her repeated omission of information go. Nor did they let go of the actor trying to equate his wife's actions to Gillian Anderson's American accent at the Golden Globes. For starters, Anderson is American and just so happens to take on many British roles. She also partially grew up in the UK and has spent a good chunk of the past 20 years there. And, of course, she's a professional actress. Baldwin couldn't take the criticism this time either, so he deactivated his Twitter. The actor has abandoned Twitter on several other occasions, but usually after his own mishaps in the media, from that temper tantrum he had on a plane, to a brawl he had with journalists, to controversial remarks he made about Harvey Weinstein's victims. Kelly Marie Tran On June 4, 2018, the Star Wars actress decided to call it quits on social media and did the big sign-off after undergoing verbal abuse online for several months. Tran claims she was harshly criticized by Stars Wars fans for her performance, appearance, and particularly for her Asian ethnicity. The actress deleted all of her Instagram posts, leaving only a black and white profile photo that reads, afraid, but doing it anyway. The star has yet to return to the social media platform. Travis Scott Travis Scott deactivated his Instagram account following the widespread social media trolling of the Batman costume he wore for Halloween. The main problem keyboard critics had was that he opted for dark brown instead of the classic black, and Twitter users likened him to a cockroach. Soon after, his account was gone. Could someone like Travis Scott really be bullied off social media? Probably not. By November he was once again active online. Cardi B. In October 2021, Cardi B decided she had enough of 15-year-olds telling me how to live my life, and supposed fans harassing her on again, off again partner offset. She explained on Instagram that she's tired of getting criticized for every little thing, even things that other people do. She added, I love my fans and I'm grateful and thankful for what you do but some of y'all really be acting like I be sleeping with y'all. A lot of the harassment targeted at her, an offset is due to the exes getting back together after having filed for divorce. In May of 2018, the Bodak Yellow rapper took a break from Instagram after a heated argument with fellow hip-hop artist Azalea Banks, who claimed Cardi B was like a caricature of a black woman. Before deleting her account, the rapper commented, I've made it where I am for being myself and staying true to that. I'm not trying to represent nobody but myself. She then returned to Instagram a week later to post about her new music video for Be Careful. Taylor Swift In October of 2015, the singer-songwriter posted that she thinks people may need a break from her, and she has posted significantly less on social media ever since. Granted, this wasn't a full-on social media breakup so much as Swift telling Instagram and Twitter that she needs some space. Demi Lovato On June 20, 2016, Lovato tweeted that she would stop using Twitter. The pop singer followed up by posting that she would rather use Snapchat so she doesn't have to see what some of y'all say. Despite her strong words about the negative impacts of social media, the star returned to the Twitterverse the following day as if to say, sorry not sorry. Leslie Jones the Saturday Night Live star was sadly subjected to a slew of racist and threatening comments for her role in Ghostbusters. For this reason, Jones announced that she would be leaving Twitter with 
tears and a very sad heart, according to E.T. However, this Twitter timeout lasted a very short three days. Jones returned with the tweet, Welp, A.B. Word thought she could stay away. But who else is gonna live tweet Game of Thrones? Miley Cyrus. In 2009, Cyrus committed to log off social media for her then-partner Liam Hemsworth. According to E! News, Cyrus posted, FYI Liam doesn't have a Twitter and he wants ME to delete mine with good reason. Finally in 2011, the singer-songwriter came back to Twitter with the post, Do not fear, Dotha Shenius is here. I'm not gonna lie, I came back to Twitter for two reasons. My fans and to follow at Charlie Sheen hashtag winning. Cheryl Burke, this model, TV host, and, Dancing with the Stars hotshot posted on Instagram in March of 2018, I'm dealing with some personal things right now and need to take a break from social media. Burke later explained that she had to step away from social media to mourn her father, who passed away on March 6, 2018. The dancer has since returned. Amber Rose. In December of 2017, the model and women's rights activist pledged in a video to steer clear of Instagram for a month and stated that she would have her assistant make posts instead. Though Rose proclaimed she would see her fans in the new year, the social media cleanse only lasted for about two weeks. Kendall Jenner, the model and reality TV star shocked fans by abruptly deleting her Instagram account on November 13, 2017. However, the hiatus did not last long. She hopped back online a week later. When asked about her Instagram, Detox, during an interview with Ellen, Jenner responded that she had become too, dependent, on social sites and simply needed, to take a minute. Meghan Markle, according to The Independent, after the Duchess of Sussex became engaged to Prince Harry in January of 2018, she took another great leap by deleting her Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook accounts all in one fell swoop. In a post to fans before the big delete, she thanked everyone who had followed her and said she would be resigning from social media. But the royal couple now have their own Instagram account and are enjoying newfound freedom, so perhaps we'll see Markle back online with her own accounts in the near future. Kanye West the rapper and fashion designer regularly comes under fire for his controversial and confusing posts on Twitter. In 2012, West posted, Be back soon, before deleting all of his tweets, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Not long after, the hip-hop artist returned to the social media site, but he continues to resurface and disappear from social media, almost always with contentious posts that land him in hot water. Lena Dunham, the Girls, actress announced in September of 2015 that she would no longer be directly handling her Twitter account because of verbal violence online. Dunham's profile has continuously remained active on Twitter, and it is unclear whether or not she has hired someone to tweet on her behalf, as many of the tweets sound like her funny self. Normani, this member of famed girl group Fifth Harmony, and a solo star in her own right, was subjected to online abuse, including racist photos and comments, after seemingly snubbing former band member Camila Cabello in an interview. Normani announced her social media break on August 8, 2016, because in her eyes she was the target of unjust hate and slander. She returned the following month, continuing to stand up to cyberbullies in the comments section. Army Hammer, this actor known for his role in Call Me By Your Name, ironically walked away from social media in November of 2017, after BuzzFeed posted the article, 10 long years of trying to make Army Hammer happen. Hammer commented, bitter AF, on the article, and deleted his Twitter one day later, claiming that it was a toxic environment. He logged back on in January with the tweet, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. But, after his sexual misconduct scandal, he's been inactive again. Please do subscribe for more information. Thank you for watching.